<laughs> I'm letting the puppies have their first walk in the grass. They're six weeks old. And they're still wanting to nurse Mama, and she's running away from them. They haven't been sleeping with her, so they see this as an opportunity to get them some milk. <laughs> What's the matter there, Beauty? Are they trying to get you? Huh? They trying to get you? They sound like a bunch of little guinea pigs. That little noise they make. Their tails are curled up over their back like the Pekingese, and they've got, they're the neatest mix you ever seen. They have the face of their daddy, and uh, they're kind of fuzzy on the face, but they've got the smooth hair of, the, of their mom, which she has more of a flat coat instead of the bushy coat like most Pekingese, and, and of course the dad had the, the long, smooth coat too, so... They've got the smooth hair of the Yorkie and the fuzzy face of the Yorkie. And, oh, she's finally relented and she's letting them get some milk. And that's sister right here, the one with white on it. That's my uh, satin. She's the sister to, actually the mother, actually, not the sister. She's the mother. She's grandma, I guess you could say. Grandma to the puppies. Grandma Satin. And Satin's getting her coat back. She's getting, she's a little more, bit more, um, has a fluffy coat. And she lost all her undercoat when she had her litter. So it's coming back. But I think these little puppies, I don't know. You just never know till they, they get their best coat about, at about three years of age. So then you'll be able to tell if they're going to be bushy looking or the more flat looking coat like the mama. Beauty's kind of long in the back with short Pekingese legs and looks like they've taken after her as far as their 